Back in November, Alina Health started enrolling volunteers for phase three of Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine study called Ensemble. We uh, managed to enroll 230 people, which is a lot of work. Dr. Frank Rain with Alina Health is the site principal investigator of the trial. The clinical trial sites in phase three had a goal of enrolling 60,000 participants worldwide. So they were obviously getting a lot more COVID cases than they were, they were projecting initially. So they didn't think they needed to enroll 60,000, they only needed to enroll 40,000. The trial ended up with about 45,000 volunteers. With COVID-19 disproportionately affecting communities of color, the study also focused on getting more people of color enrolled. We enrolled 11% uh, minority, which is not as many as we'd hoped for but uh, that's, that's, that's consistent with our, our population here. The next step is to review the efficacy and safety data from the trial. They expect to get that info by the end of the month, but clinical trial sites will keep at it. So every time there's a potential case, you, you, you have a, a, a lot of work to do. And really the, the study is not over until two years after the last person was vaccinated. So that's uh, uh, you know, 2022. December. The vaccine requires only one dose, and unlike Pfizer, it does not need ultra cold storage. I don't think we're going to have enough vaccine to uh, get every American vaccinated before the summer without a third uh, vaccine around. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. While Johnson & Johnson feels confident in its one-dose vaccine, it does have another study for a two-dose vaccine to see if a second dose might actually provide greater or longer protection.